unknown child refers to the initially unidentified body of Sydney Leslie Goodwin, a 19-month-old toddler who was recovered by the McKay Bennett after the sinking of the RMS Titanic. For almost a century, Goodwin's gravestone in the Fairview Cemetery read erected to the memory of an unknown child whose remains were recovered after the disaster to the Titanic April 15, 1912. Initial DNA testing in 2002 pointed to third-class passenger A. Noviljami Panula as the probable individual, however, subsequent testing in 2007 conclusively identified the child's remains as those of fellow third-class toddler Sidney Leslie Goodwin. The body of a fair-haired toddler was the fourth pulled from the ocean by the recovery ship C.S. McKay Bennett, on 17 April 1912. The description read. No. 4. Male, estimated age, 2. Hair, fair. Clothing, grey coat with fur on collar and cuffs, brown serge frock, petticoat, flannel garment, pink woolen singlet, brown shoes and stockings. No marks whatever. Probably third class. The sailors aboard the McKay Bennett, who were very shocked by the discovery of the unknown boy's body, paid for a monument, and he was buried on 4 May 1912 with a copper pendant placed in his coffin by recovery sailors that read our babe. Before 2002, Sydney was known simply as the unknown child. His body, identified as that of a child around two years old, was initially believed to be that of either a two-year-old Swedish boy, Gosta Paulson, or a two-year-old Irish boy, Eugene Rice, two other fair-haired toddlers who perished in the sinking. In 2002, the American PBS television series Secrets of the Dead misidentified the body as A. Noviljami Panula, a 13-month-old Finnish baby, based on DNA testing of three teeth and a small, weathered bone. The show traced the child's DNA to a Finnish woman by the name of Magda Schleffer whose grandmother's sister was Maria Emilia Panula. Another relative of the Panula family, Hilda Panula Heinonen, has written several extensive articles related to the family. In 2007, however, Canadian researchers at Lakehead University tested the child's HVS1, a type of mitochondrial DNA molecule, and it did not match the Panula family. DNA extracted from the exhumed remains and DNA provided by a surviving maternal relative helped positively match the remains to Sydney, and the re-identification was announced on 30 July 2007. Although the bodies of two other children, both older boys, were recovered, it was Sydney who came to be a symbol of all the children lost in the sinking. He is buried in Fairview Cemetery, Halifax, Nova Scotia, and a marker was recently added to the memorial with his name and dates of birth and death. A pair of his shoes was donated to Halifax's Maritime Museum of the Atlantic in 2002 by the descendants of a Halifax police officer who guarded the bodies and clothing of Titanic victims. Sydney Leslie Goodwin, the 9th of September 1910 to the 15th of April 1912, was a 19-month-old English boy who died during the sinking of the RMS Titanic. In 2008, mitochondrial DNA testing by the Armed Forces Lab revealed his identity. Sydney Goodwin was the only member of his family whose body was recovered and subsequently identified. Sydney was born on the 9th of September 1910 in Melksham, Wiltshire, England. He was the youngest child born to Frederick Joseph and Augusta, nay Tyler, Goodwin. Sydney had five older siblings, Lillian, Charles, William, Jesse, and Harold. Frederick's brother, Thomas, had already left England and was living in Niagara Falls, New York. Thomas wrote to Frederick, telling him about the opening of a power station there. It has been speculated that the famed Sholkopf hydroelectric power station, Station A, due to open in 1912, would have been his employer had he lived. Frederick, a compositor, packed up his wife and six children to prepare for the move. They booked third-class passage on the SS. New York out of Southampton, but due to a coal strike that year the vessel's passage was delayed, and they were transferred to the RMS Titanic. They boarded the Titanic in Southampton as third-class passengers, not much is known about the Goodwin's activities during the voyage, except that they may have been separated by sex in opposite ends of the ship, Frederick and his older sons in the bow, and Augusta with Sidney and the girls in the stern. Harold also met and spent some time with Frank Goldsmith, 
who survived. By the time the Goodwins received a warning about the collision with the iceberg, all the lifeboats had been launched. The entire family perished in the sinking. With the exception of Sydney, none of their bodies were ever recovered nor identified. In his book, The Night Lives On, historian Walter Lord devoted a chapter, What Happened to the Goodwins, to the family, using the fact that they were English to challenge the White Star Line's implication that such high numbers of third-class passengers perished because they could not understand the English language. In September, 2020, the Smithsonian Channel aired The Curious Death of a Titanic Child, about the identification of Sidney Goodwin as part of the Curious Life and Death of series. The erroneously identified child was Aino Viljami Panula, the 10th of March 1911 to the 15th of April 1912. He was a young Finnish boy who died during the sinking of RMS Titanic. From 2002 to 2007, he was initially believed to be the unknown child. Aino was traveling with his mother, Maria Emilia Panula, born Maya Emilia Ketelo and four older brothers, Ernest D. Arvid, born the 18th of May 1895, Jocko Arnold, born the 8th of February 1897, Yuha Nilo, born the 1st of September 1904, and Aho Abraham, born the 25th of April 1909. Three other children died before the voyage, Juho Emily, the 23rd of October 1892 to the 23rd of December 1892, Emma Ida, the 24th of February 1901 to the 8th of April 1910, and Lydia, the 17th of June 1903 to the 23rd of December 1903. The family was heading to Coal Center, Pennsylvania, to join their father, Yuha. All six members perished in the disaster. Aino Panula's body was never recovered. Thank you for listening, and if you would like to hear more biographies, please leave a comment below and perhaps give a thumbs up and subscribe to help my channel. Thank you again for listening.